What's up, YouTube? This is iOS 7 Everything here with a little beginners slash intermediate level jailbreakers tip to how to manage your Cydia install without actually having to go into your Cydia app. Alright, this is an expert level thing. You need to know Unix shell scripting, so it means needing to know your shit about a Mac, Linux, Debian, or Ubuntu computer. Alright, first off we're going to open an SSH session, since Windows doesn't come with an SSH script built into the terminal, we're going to use PuTTY. You can use PuTTY, WinSCP, CyberDuck, anything you need. So, you're going to find your IP address for your iPod, iPhone, iPad, inside of the Wi-Fi settings or SV settings. Mine is 192.168.1.4, it'll vary. Now this isn't anything that will be broadcasted out to the world, this is just localhost stuff right here. It only manages one of the network. We're going to open a session. Alright, now we're going to log in as a root. Your password's probably going to be Alpine. Alpha Lima P-I-N-E. I'm a little sketch on my phonetic alphabet right now. I've been awake all night studying city inch weeks that I want to present to you guys today. So, I already changed mine. If you want to change your password, you type in passwd and type whatever you want to have in the password field. And that'll be your new password. Okay. Now, to update your Cydia through here, you go apt-get update. From there, it will update your sources. Run through all your sources. So if you have a lot of sources installed, not a good idea to use this. Because it will take a long time, just like your Cydia front end. So I'll wait. It always gets held up on the my repo spaces. The DNS servers are obviously down for the my repo space repositories. So there's nothing we can do about that. Bear with me real quick. We can get through this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, enjoy the nice song I downloaded from my best 2013 Monster Cat. Nice $10 well spent. You see, we came up with GPG errors. Could not get the pa could not get the public keys to uh, connect and get the package. So the my repo space is down for that. All right. Now to see what else is capable, this APT is capable of. We're gonna go APT get. It's gonna open up the help file for it. So this is what it's all capable of. Most frequently used to update and install. Obviously, if you know your, if you know the name of the package, you go com.apple. or com.saric.winterboard and it'll go fetch the package within the sources you've had installed right now. You can also set configurations, you can get to the help text. You can correct a system with broken dependencies as if you decided you want to delete something so you can SSH in, it'll fix the dependencies, you'll be good to go. You can clean it, you can distribute upgrade. Pretty much anything you need to do can be done through SSH as long as you have the experience with SSH scripting. Alright? Alright, and this is all I gotta do for now. Uh, and within the next hour, I'll have a video uploaded for you guys. Have at it. Subscribe if you want more.